Okay. So the solar panel is hooked to a small DC motor, which has a magnet uh, taped to the shaft. Uh, I use that setup because it has to spin relatively slow. And uh, it actually spins too fast to get them started, so I've got to cover part of the solar panel to slow the motor down and then spin them up one at a time. Got to spin them faster, and then as they slow down, they settle into a, a resonance or a whatever. And then once you get them all going, then I slowly creep my hand off of the solar panel to speed it up just gradually. If it speeds up too fast, it'll lose its synchronization and uh, they'll all slow down. Uh, the other thing on this uh, to note is that the uh, frame rate of the camera makes these look like they're going super slow once they get up to speed. They look like they're going faster now, but as they speed up, they'll look like they actually slow down. <coughs> and... Let's see... Oh, uh, uh, the first couple videos I did on this, I thought you had to spin them uh, counter to each other, like clockwise, counterclockwise, clockwise, counter... But you can actually spin them either direction. You can spin them all clockwise or all counterclockwise, it doesn't matter. And do, 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 do. this is basically a copy of John DePew's uh, uh, mag Equilibrious Grid. I call shenanigans on him. I say he's got a drive motor hidden somewhere, which is simple to do because magnetism will uh, penetrate through any any substance in the universe. So I think he's got a uh, hidden motor with a magnet on it driving the original one and then he you know just links off of those and his bigger heavier ones are probably easier to keep spinning and get more of them to go than these little lightweight ones because they don't have much uh, flywheel uh, effect anyway uh, not anti-gravity not free energy but a cool effect anyway <laughs>